speaker box loud, hitting that stuff to you. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is for entertainment purposes only. So this week we got the Fed meeting. We've got the Fed meeting. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Could be setting up for a break and retest here. Yeah. I think the market knows what's coming. Hopefully copper gets a little more action. And this isn't a correction here. I really hope this pushes. I hope this... I hope this was the... Correction. And this starts to go. But regardless, the market has a weird way of predicting what's going to happen. I've noticed. So, like... If we look at Euro USD, for instance, I, I did have a trade in USD CAD. I took profit and got out. I just wanted to see where price was right before the Fed meeting because I feel like the Fed meeting is a big turning point. As soon as it comes out of their mouth, market go that way. <laughs> yeah. Let's see where Bitcoin's at. So I wouldn't be surprised. I would say like for Bitcoin. We either get like a little correction here. And it starts to haul ass. Or it shoots down, takes this low in this support zone and then hauls ass. I would say those are the scenarios there. But you'd be surprised. Sometimes the low is clocked in before the news event. Not always, but sometimes. So, for instance, like, let's say you're a USD this week. But this is why I wanted to jump out of the market. Because, I, I don't know. So let's just say you're a USD. Right, it looks like we have a flag forming here. But let's say it breaks early. Monday, Tuesday, and then we're up here Wednesday. Guess what that means? The Fed's not lowering interest rates. And this is going to come screwing back down after the Fed meeting. But if this wastes time and maybe comes down here, maybe takes this low, maybe does not take the low, maybe makes a higher low somewhere down here during the Fed meeting, if we're somewhere down here, by the Fed meeting, I'm going long. So I threw in a few pending orders only because, I mean, it just looks too good. It looks too freaking good. So USD CAD, I got to sell right above the last high. You know, we had this big move down. We got a strong sell signal. We're coming back up into support. We haven't quite made it fully into support yet I mean resistance we went down broke support heading back up into resistance I would say more than likely they'll come up and snap that high or they might shoot down and then come back up that's a possibility as well this might start heading down and then come back up and then here we are, Fed meeting, and then it breaks. So I'm looking for an entry somewhere around here to the downside for USD CAD and NZD USD. Same thing. We got a bull flag here, man. We got a bull flag. We got a bull flag. But it doesn't necessarily mean, I mean, we haven't really hit the trend line yet. Doesn't mean it will. We might come down with a higher low. Or this might come down correctively slowly and then go. Who knows? But I'm going to be watching this very closely. 
All I'm all I'm aiming to do with my forex account is if they're going to start devaluing the dollar, I'm going to take some of my dollars and leverage it 50x so I can be making something not losing something. That's that's all I'm trying to do here. I'm not trying to time nothing. I'm going to use the charting skills that I, that I, that I've learned. I'm going to pay close attention to what's going on in the market, in the economy. And if they're going to devalue, I'm in. Right? I'm going to throw some money in, short the U.S. dollar, essentially. That's all I'm looking to do. And these look like setups that are getting ready to happen. So I do think uh, at... Very soon, very, very soon, that Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Sheeb. I'd love to see XRP break out. I mean, we're so, it's so close. It's like, it's tickling it. It's tickling it a little bit. You know, it's just, it's, it's so close. But it's not going to break until we get that news. And there's a, you know, who, who knows? This could be a pennant formation here. This may not make it down, or maybe this comes all the way down, sweeps that low, and then bounces. I mean, we've got a buy signal regardless right here. It's, it's looking good for the coming weeks. It, it really does look like the Fed's going to lower interest rates. Which if they do... Oh, shit! <laughs> look at this! Neo! I wonder what Lucid... Oh yeah, Lucid's popping off a little bit here. Which I actually added into my lucid position a little bit. Just looking for a rip. Yeah, these uh, interest rate sensitive stocks might start getting a little bit of loving. Coming forward here. Oh my goodness. I'm finally in profit. Wow, this took for I've, I've been holding this probably for a year and a half. I'm like, there's no, I'm not getting out of this. No, no, no way. Barely in profit, but I'm back in profit. I got in around a, a dollar way back here. February 2023, or it might even have been, uh, June of 2022, I remember this was coming down and I bought around a dollar and it spiked and it came back down and it's just all over the place. But if this can break above that 200 day moving average and start heading up. Oh, it looks like the weeks ahead could be really good. Or really bad. You know, it's really good here, but it's really bad for everyone else. That's the thing. If you don't have... If you don't understand the market, if you don't understand what's going on out there, like my tenants or like... You know, most people don't understand. And they're just like waddling through life like... Duh, 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 you know what I mean? And like... It shouldn't, you shouldn't have to learn this. We shouldn't have to. You know, to not be silently robbed behind our backs. But unfortunately, we do. These days, we have to understand what they're doing. Because they are stealing from us. So we have to figure out how to play things 
correctly, how to play things smart, and come out ahead on the other side. And this is all I've been doing for the last four years. Eat, sleep, shit. This is what I do, is look at the markets and try to be smart and play things to the best of my knowledge. And sometimes you cannot listen to... Like, you'll, you'll notice at the perfect times, there's certain news outlets that come out and say, well, you should do this, you should do this, and then like three days later, it all dumps. There's even YouTube channels that they're like the same thing. It's like, oh, you should do this, you should do this, and then the next day, it dumps. And then you hear like, oh, that's a scam, that's a scam, and you're like, well, I don't think it's a scam. So I'm standing firm. Oh, you should be very, very careful. This is what I heard. I was telling some dude that I, that uh, I was at his house. I was working. Um, and I was like, yeah, I've been buying silver. And he's like, oh, you should be very, very careful of that. You should be very, very careful. That's a, that's a bad idea. I'm like, wait a minute. Buying silver is a bad idea? What, what, what fucking planet do you live on? Do you not understand what money is? Whatever, man. You know what I mean? So you can't, you can't listen to people. You need to dig in and do your own research on things. You really do. You shouldn't listen to me. You shouldn't listen to anybody. I mean, it's, it's nice to take different... And I'm always listening to different points of view. I listen to bad point of views on Bitcoin. I, live to, I listen to good point of views on Bitcoin. I listen to all of it and then try to, you know, pig pile... All of that together and figure out what I think. And it's tough. Because it seems like no matter what you do, it's, it's like, yeah. But anyways, this should be an interesting week nonetheless. So, see you later.